Hello, everybody. Andrea Majewski here with Dental Health Tutoring. I'm sorry, I just had to clear my throat really, really quick. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about something that happened to me yesterday, actually. So what do you do when your piezo or cavitron isn't working? So for those of you who are a dental hygienist, you might either always use the piezo or always use the cavitron. I have used both depending on the offices where I'm in. I'm fine with using either or, but I do prefer the piezo. But what do you do when you show up and it was working yesterday or it was working before your last appointment, but for this patient or just today, it's not working. And it's not like you can get down on your hands and knees and try to fix it. If it's an internal unit, you can't just move things around to try to fix it. If it's just one, you just simply plug in. Those are easier because usually it means you just have to turn it off, turn it on again, maybe plug it back in again, maybe just keep on trying different tips. You know, just weird things happen with these machines. But all in all, if it just stops working, what do you do? So this happened to me the other day, and it happened to me for my last patient when I was doing quad scaling, okay? So she was in for quad three um, for the full, the full hour. I'm just scaling quad three. I needed that piezo, guys, okay? Think about thick black tartar rings around every tooth. Me hand scaling that is impossible. Maybe you guys are amazing. I'm not amazing at being able to get those black rings off around the teeth. So I was annoyed. I was stressed out. I know the patient can't tell. Um, even when I went to go use the water instrument, I like to call it for my patients, and she's had it every single time so she knows exactly what it is because I have explained it to her. Um, I went to go pick it up, and then it just wasn't working. I kind of said to her, oh, our water instrument's not working. Um, I'm just gonna change the tip, I'll be right back. And I kept on trying to get it to work for a good couple minutes, but it just wasn't working. So instead of me saying to her, okay, I'm not gonna be able to do your cleaning today because there's no way that I can hand scale everything. I said to her, you know what, that's okay. I'll just use my hand, in um, hand instruments. You might feel a little bit more pressure, um, but, but um, Actually, she had full LA, so full local anesthetic, quad three, so that actually helped me out. But I said, you might feel some more pressure today. My water instrument, for some reason, isn't working, so you might kind of see me dig more, but things will look amazing. Meanwhile, inside, I'm thinking, oh, I have to hand scale for an hour. I won't be able to get it off. I won't. Not all of it anyway, and that's what happened. So considering, you know... For a lot of patients, if they were just in for their cleaning today, um, opposed to quad scaling, I would have said to them, oh, there's more plaque than usual. I can't clean everything today, so we will bring you back. For her, it was quad three for the full hour. There's no way I was going to tell her that we can't clean everything to, um, today. We're going to have to bring you back for quad three. I just wasn't going to do it. Okay, I wasn't going to do it. So I scaled as much as I possibly could. Thank God, thank goodness, it was my last patient because my hand was hurting. I was sore, I was not happy. So thank goodness it was the last appointment. But I just simply said to her, okay, well, we did a great cleaning today. Um, the gums will probably bleed more than usual because there was more on this side. But the next time we will continue on and do quad four. But I left tartar behind you guys. I know I did because I wasn't able to get my piezo in there. I know I did. I left tartar behind. And I didn't tell the patient I left tartar behind. But what I'm going to do is at her next appointment, she's actually in on Thursday. She's in for quad four. I'm going to obviously clean quad four. I probably won't have time to go back to quad three and kind of finish it up. But since it's quad four, what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously clean entirely quad four. Um, she will have local anesthetic again. And then I'm going to, at the end of the appointment, say to her, um, I am going to go back with my water instrument and just kind of clean a little bit everywhere. And since I didn't have the water instrument last time, I'm just going to spend an extra, you know, two minutes making sure that it is as, you know, healthy as possible. 
So that's it. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with the uh, piezo because now it's working, by the way, and I'm just going to spend longer in quad three and make sure to get everything off. So that's what I'm going to do. So you see how I did that? You see how I did that? So it just makes me feel so much better because I know I didn't get everything clean. I know I didn't. Um, but that's just kind of how I handled the situation. So if that happens to you guys, just, just kind of look and see, like if it's, um, and I did actually have another patient where my piezo was not working once. Um, so not the same day, but another day. And, um, they had a lot of tartar, their lower anteriors. I was able to use my hand instruments to get it off, but it was really hard. Like it was really tenacious. So I simply said to them, you know what? I can't do your whole cleaning today because there's just simply not enough time. Um, if you could come back for like 20 minutes, that's it. Next time I will only obviously charge you for the 20 minutes of a cleaning and just do the rest of it. So that's what I did um, because I couldn't get it all off with my hand instruments, plain and simple. Um, or if let's just say that that patient had a lot of tartar everywhere, I did the best I could with my hand instruments, but I couldn't get it all off without using the, the piezo, then I will bring them back for a full hour the next time to do the rest of it. You will probably be done early unless they did obviously have a lot, but make sure that the, that the piezo or the cabotron is working when you bring them back or you're just gonna have to work really hard with those hand instruments. I love my piezo. I like to use the piezo first and you should always hand scale afterwards anyway because you might miss something. So yeah guys that's what I do. If it hasn't happened to you yet it will probably happen to you. Knock on wood though but that it doesn't happen soon and I hope that these little tips kind of helped you guys. Any comments, please let me know. I might have left something out. Please let me know. Make sure to click like and make sure to subscribe because I do always appreciate it. And it's nice to know that people are actually watching me do these videos. So thank you guys so much. Have a good day today. It looks nice outside. Enjoy the weather and I'll see you next time.